here we are with the troublesome Hyundai Accent blowing up a check engine light code. We already put our scan tool in here and these are the codes that came up. EVAP purge valve problem. Now from my understanding there's two kind of valves in the fuel system. This is the EVAP purge valve that's in front of the engine area here. And there's also one by the fuel tank, although I think it might have a different name. If it does, I'll post that right here. But the purpose of this valve is to open and close during cycles of the engine. And it is monitored here by the ECU. Now, during a cold engine, this valve retains closed. So the fuel vapors don't get pushed back into the intake manifold to get burnt off once the engine warms up finally that's when this valve will open a little bit and the ecu controls on how much it will open and then it takes those gases from the fuel tank and slowly puts them back into the intake manifold so they can get reburned because you know those vapors in the fuel tank need to go somewhere so these purge valves can have a few problems one problem is when they're naturally closed like this one is closed right now they are leaking they're not holding vacuum properly so that might be one problem and then the second problem is it's just not opening so it might be something with the sensor itself when the ECM tells it to open it's not opening and then there's an abundance of gases being stored in the evap canister next to the fuel tank so we're going to go ahead and try to test this out right now to see if we can hear a click if we connect the positive and negative terminal here that can at least tell us if the valve is opening or closing it won't necessarily tell us if it is leaking to check if it's leaking you're gonna have to apply some kind of vacuum here which we cannot we don't have the tools for that but at least if we hear a click we can rule out that the sensor itself is working the only thing we can't rule out is if the valve inside is fully seated and not leaking it's kind of like a compression test you want to make sure the compression numbers are good in the valve here if they're not good that means it's time to replace the evap sensor here very small part very easy to get to at least on this car again the other part that i'm aware of is under the vehicle and it might need a replacement also we'll probably check that out i was just changing the wheels on this vehicle to the summer tires here and when i was under the vehicle i noticed the the area where that other sensor goes is all rusted out so the, the bracket that's holding it the sensor in the back is all rusted out so there might be an issue with that sensor as well all right, so we got the negative battery terminal and positive connected and just listen for the click guys so the check valve is definitely working as far as getting a connection to the sensor opening and closing with the proper power again this one might be all right we might have to tackle the one under the vehicle but that is an evap sensor fyi for you guys if you guys are dealing with some kind of problem with your check engine code and you guys are getting evap sensor codes this is the basic uh, design of a evap sensor this is the basic function of a evap sensor again it's a check valve to make sure the exhaust gases escape to the engine so they get reburned during warm engine temperatures right, come on down so here we are under the vehicle you got your fuel tank right here right above the fuel tank we got our uh, charcoal canister right here so this kind of filters out some of that gas air before it goes back to be burnt into the engine and see this is the valve that i was talking about right here whatever bracket was there it already rusted through and what's common on these cars and many other cars is that these hoses you just get some cracks on them and they're not functioning properly so that could be a common issue uh, like you, you can see these clamps they're pretty darn bad if i take these off right now you're definitely gonna have to put new clamps on so let's see if we can take this sensor off and we'll probably test it the same way we just tested the other sensor all right guys so this is the sensor the valve that is by the fuel tank same concept positive ground right over here and you got a you got passages for air travel and if you look actually real close inside you can kind of see the spring over there let me see if i can show you this in the light here
you guys can see the spring right there and that pushes up on a valve and you see the valve is sitting closed right there so let's put some power to this let's uh, see if this piston opens and closes if it does again the sensor might be working it might be just again a leaky valve the other sensor we just tested we reinstalled it that one is turning on and off so let's see what's the problem with this one or if this one is the problem or if we have another problem all right so we got everything hooked up and just listen for the click So you guys can clearly hear the click. Let me see if I can get you guys in. The way this vent valve works is actually it's always on the open position. So once you apply the voltage to it, that's when this valve closes. And I guess the EVAP emissions whole module, when you start your vehicle, it pressurizes the whole system. It checks if these sensors are working. It closes the whole system to make sure there's no vacuum leaks and it has met its parameters. If it doesn't meet its parameters, again, it will throw a check engine code. And again, this is partly due in part with these valves. If they're leaking, Let's say the system's doing a checkup and these things are leaking, whether it's the, the vent solenoid, whether it's the P, uh, EVAP solenoid, whether it's your gas cap not fully tight and it's leaking some air into the system, you might throw a check engine light on. Now, if, if the check engine is gonna be for a small leak, then it might be your gas cap. In our scenario, it's a high flow leak. So I'm assuming this valve when it closes it doesn't seal properly enough and it's still letting vacuum into the emission system and therefore we are getting a check engine light the car runs fine otherwise also guys if you have a bad vent solenoid and it's in the st stuck closed position when you're trying to fill up gasoline your gasoline pump will trigger every time and you won't be able to fill up a lot of gasoline because the gases again are not able to escape this what the purpose of this is to have those gases escape vent to the atmosphere so if this is stuck closed you're putting in gas that gas that ventilation has nowhere to go and your gasoline pump stops so if you're having a fill-up problem it's probably the vent solenoid right over here we are going to probably just throw on some brake cleaner here just to clean the solenoid. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but we'll throw it back in there. We'll probably search for a new valve, uh, vent solenoid online to reinstall it. So guys, in our scenario right now, we just put the positive and the ground wire here to close the piston inside. Then we tried blowing onto the piston forward and backward and it's completely shut guys. So this i don't think i don't know how much so i don't know how much pressure the normal system uses and the parameters but just judging it based on what i just did it seems to be functioning properly so at this point i'm just going to reinstall everything under the vehicle and we'll see and we'll wait for the next check engine light to pop up right here you see you got two lines coming up from the top so so if we follow this one this is the gasoline going in the gas tank and this is your vent valve that again is purging gases out there and if you overfill your gas tank if you're one of those people that overfills and and likes to fill them up more than you should all that gas is actually going back on here directly being pumped into the the valve solenoid and that's gonna just cause a bunch of issues pro cause problems with more gasoline going in the canister the sensor might get uh issues with it as well so when you're when you're tanking up it tells you to stop it turns off don't add more gasoline i know I'm, I'm one of the guys that does it too but after today's video that's the last time i'm doing it anyway guys i think we solved the issue that we are having i came across this 
holes right over here. And there's another valve here that I'm not familiar with. And then you see, you see this, this hose was right here. It was hooked up right there, but it's broken. It's not connected on this side. I'm not sure if it's going anywhere on that side. I don't think so, because it seems like it's, it's a flat cutoff. But this side is definitely broken. And that valve on top, you can see there's a nipple right there. And I'm not sure if that's just a, some kind of dump valve because that one is going to the actual charcoal canister right there. So we'll have to do some more research. I'm not sure, again, if this is just some kind of valve that dumps into the atmosphere or if this was supposed to be connected somewhere, but that might be another issue and the underlying cause of this check engine light on this 2009 Hyundai Accent. Anyway, guys, this is on you to me, this whole EVAP system, you know, it's not interesting, I know, and uh, but hopefully, you know, we, we picked something up from this video, this this little do-it-yourself guide. See you guys in the next video. All right, guys, we are back. So this little puppy right here is actually the vapor canister pressure sensor. So as you can see, the canister, you know, that, that pressurized test I was telling you guys earlier about, well, it goes, the pressure goes into the sensor, the sensor tests it, and if there's excess pressure, it actually is just bled off through that second nipple right over there. So that, that hose we had, again, it's, it's not relevant to anything. It's just a broken, rotten hose. But uh, everything else seems to be in, in check in point. So it's a lot of stuff in the emission system. Again, you got your, got your charcoal canister here. You got your uh, air valve, the dump valve here. You got your pressure sensor here. And up front on the car, you had another sensor there so it all works together some way somehow to reduce emissions make your car more efficient and all the other good things that these things provide